Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hey guys, my name is Muhammad Zaka Munanusif. I'm from class 1FD40i. And today in this video, I would like to review my laptop, my peripheral, and my software, software application in my laptop. And the last one is uh, internet connection speed. So guys, check it out. Oke okay guys, in this first session of video, I will review my laptop. My laptop is Asus ROG Strix G15 G513iH. It is a brand new ROG laptop series that Asus have been released on August 11, 2021. This series have five configuration with different specification, but have the same brand on the processor and graphic, which is the brand of the processor is AMD Ryzen series and the graphic is Nvidia series. My laptop is Asus ROG Strix G15 G513iH and it is the lowest series in ROG Strix G15 G513 series. It have a price for about 15 and a half million rupiah based on the Asus ROG official website. From here, I'm going to review the chassis and build quality, hardware specification and also the performance of this laptop. So let's keep going. First one is build quality. This laptop have a good and solid chassis with a weight of 2.10 kg with a dimension of 35.4, 25.9 and 2.06 cm. This Asus have a sporty and gamers look alike design. It comes with a backlit RGB on the keyboard and LED light under the chassis. The display have 15.6 inch size with a resolution of full HD plus sRGB 62.5% and also have 144 Hz refresh rate display. The kind of refresh rate is really suitable for hardcore gamers that play FPS online game because it decreases the input lag from mouse and keyboard. Speaking of keyboard, the keyboard is backlit chiclet keyboard with 4 zone RGB that really responsive and will satisfy you. It also comes with a big touchpad in the bottom middle of the keyboard that feel pretty good to be click on it. This is the sound of Asus ROG keyboard. This laptop have two 1.5 watt speakers that sounds good because the Dolby Atmos and the AI noise cancelling technology by Asus. This is the sound that came from the laptop. The next one is hardware specification. G513iH come with AMD Ryzen 7 4800H 4.2 GHz Max Boost mobile processor, Nvidia GeForce GTX 1650 4GB DDR6, 8GB DDR3200 RAM, and 512GB SSD storage. We can overclock the processors and graphic card to certain amount manually or automatically. The specification is quite good for 15 million laptop specification, but it's really disappointing me because every 15 million laptops are now come with RTX series. This laptop have Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1 technology and also battery of 56 watt per hour capacity. With a normal memory of 8GB, I recommend you to upgrade it with 1-8GB again so this laptop will come to its peak performance. The last one is the performance of this laptop. Well, to be honest, the performance is fantastic for regular and work use, but not that good for gaming and editing in this era. The Cinebench CPU multi-core benchmark have a solid performance of 9,964 points. While for editing, it's run pretty smooth in Vegas preview and usually need to wait for 10 minutes to render 1 minute full HD videos with so many layers and effects in Vegas. And for gaming, it's performed really good for esports game and other mid and games. While for triple A games, it usually performs from 50 to 80 FPS depends on the graphics quality of its game. For the next session, I will review three unique software applications in my laptop. 
The first one is Asus Armory Crate. It is the essential software that every ROG or Tube Series laptop have. Armory Crate is your one-stop app to connect, configure, and control a plethora of ROG gaming products. Armory Crate has so many functions start from tweaking, overclocking, maintaining, and so on. So it is really important for ROG users, especially me, that play game to use this application. The next one is Steam. Steam is video game or also software digital distribution service made by Valve. Basically, this software is for buying games, software, and other game stuff such as item in-game. In Steam, there are so many other features such as community, market in-game, artwork, and so on. I usually only use this application for buy and play. The last one is Wallpaper Engine. Well, just like the name, this application enables you to use so many types of wallpaper for your desktop. From a static normal wallpaper to 3D live animation with sound wallpaper. I use this software to change my wallpaper so I don't get bored. In this last session, I will review my peripherals, internet connection, and give the conclusion of this video. First one is still series Rival 3. I bought this wired mouse for about 500,000 rupiah two years ago and still perform like angel until this day with a true of technology that can track up to 8,500 dpi and with light ergonomic plus RGB light, this mouse is beyond its price. Second one is Rexus HX20. For this peripheral, I bought it for about 400,000 rupiah. It's a decent headset but really good for gaming. For internet connection, I use internet that my family use together. It's my republic with a speed average of 38 megabyte per second for download and 8 megabyte per second for upload. Overall, Asus ROG G15 G513 IH is really good and suitable for those who want to use it for regular and work purpose but sometimes play game for have fun. With software, peripherals, and internet connection that I have been mentioned before, I can do almost anything from multitasking to gaming. So this setup is helping for living my life as a normal student. That's all for me. Thank you guys for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.